Okay, so um, this one is part one of putting together the Piso 20 module. This is a screw mount version. There'll be three parts essentially. So we've got the lower part here, we've got the upper part, and we've got a drilling guide, or you know, you can use it as a key fob if you prefer. Put that to one side at the moment. So the lower part, exactly the same as with the um, the groove mount version, essentially you snap off the the clamp. There'll be a little cone inside here which is built in support. Snap that off and discard it. And then this one shows that we get a few little strings here which uh, you know form when it prints. Essentially all you have to do is sort of turn it over, you know, maybe just grab hold of those little strings and just pull them off. Because you won't particularly need them to uh, to be there. Um, you can use a small file, you know, if you want to. So just make sure, again, like the um, groove mount, that this top surface is nice and nice and clean. And then we're going to drill through each of these four corner holes with a 2.8 mil drill bit to make sure that they're the right size for the M3 screws to tap when the module's assembled. Um, and just file off any, you know, elephant's foot or any kind of you know roughness along these fitting surfaces so that the clamp will fit smoothly in into the module. Um, the difference between this and the groove mount version is that this is the screw mount plate. Um, on the underside, so this will be mounted this way up, there's a recess for the piezo. And then on either side here we've got two holes. Those will have the brass inserts inserted into them so that when you attach this to the underside of your carriage or effector, the two M3 screws will go down through the carriage or effector and engage with the brass uh, inserts. Um, they're 25mm hole centre to centre, uh, equidistant around the hole in the middle for the filament. Um, these two little recesses, sorry, these four little recesses that are here which um, the countersunk, four countersunk corner screws sit in, um, they print without support so you get a little bit of rough um, plastic, a few little strings in there and I tend to just get a thin file and just go through them and make sure that these four holes, um, and it's the same on the groove mount version but essentially they print without this uh, this stringing. Make sure these four holes are not binding an M3 screw. So the M3 screw needs to be able to slide up and down inside this part. 